Before we get started on our lesson on understanding the scientific principles and processes, I'll take attendance before I forget. Justina Hillier. Here. Jack Winfield. Here. Sahir Atmore. Here. Zachariah Blackledge. Here. Tomiko Saltmarsh. Here. Phineas Wakeley. Here. Arabella Prasad. Here. Felice Hassett. Here. Tito Livesey. Here. Wilson Delafield. Here. Georgine Bostick. Here. Randall Lloyd. Here. Storm Maples. Here. Giselle Gunnett. Here. Clarissa Jolson. Here. Nicole Marion. Here. Cindy Mangum. Here. Sean Holdren. Here. Lucas Spillen. Here. And Candice Wedge. Here. Miss Kestel. All right, that's everyone. Now, take out your Chromebooks and open your Google document that you started on yesterday as you'll be taking notes on this topic we're learning today. Now, what are the five steps of the scientific method? Can someone explain for us? Yes, Tomiko? The five steps of the scientific method are 1. Make an observation 2. Ask a question 3. Perform experiment 4. Collect data and 5. Draw conclusions Good job, Tomiko. Make sure you write this down as this will be on your unit quiz in the next two weeks. Now, can someone explain some examples of a hypothesis? Yes, Jack, what is your example of a hypothesis? My example of a hypothesis is, if Wilson stops stalking girls so much back in the day, then the girls would like him more. Oh fuck to the hell no, no, no. I've already stopped doing that shit months ago and you're gonna still paint me as a stalker. You need to let this shit go. Oh yeah? Bet you 20 bucks that you still do it secretly. Like, I, said. I don't do that stalking shit anymore. I can back this up, don't worry Wilson. He hasn't been stalking anyone ever since he got therapy because he was in the dumps. And you just bringing it up makes things worse for him, so why don't you shut your trap? Ah don't start with you yapping your mouth at me, I know you've been sucking cock after school for some money. I do no such thing. Why do you even think I would do that in the first place you fucking perverted piece of shit? Because I've seen your sister do it on an explicit site which I won't name, so I'm guessing that you do it too. Oh you motherfucking piece of shit, you don't ever bring up my sister into the conversation do you hear me? What my sister does is none of your business. That is enough of this rambling nonsense. I don't care who started who, but the three of you need to quiet down and focus on the lesson, or else the three of you are getting a ticket to the principal's office. No, why don't you shut up for once? All you do is sit on your ass and teach us useless shit that means nothing to us. Maybe while you shut your mouth, try sucking your husband's dick with those lips of yours? Jack Samuel Winfield, you dare to start an argument with two of your classmates that were vulgar, and now you cuss me out and tell me to go do something explicit with my husband. Go to the principal's office now and explain yourself to her. But, Miss Kestel. Go now, or else I'll call school security to take you to the office. And take your stuff with you. Damn, Miss Kestel, are you alright? I guess so. I'm sorry everyone for the disruption, class. Don't worry about taking notes, because it's a free day. I just need some time for myself. Ah, Jack Winfield, I've seen the email that Mrs. Kestel sent to me, please take a seat. So, explain why you decided to start an argument in your class. We were learning about some bullshit called the scientific method and shit. Then I thought it would be funny to spill a joke about a student stalking one of the- Okay stop there. Are you talking about Wilson Delafield? Because he's gone to therapy because he's told me about his past, so you need to leave it behind. Oh my god you sound just like him shut the fuck up you fat ass. If you continue to behave like this, you're gonna be suspended for two months since you're gonna be suspended already for this. <sighs> Fine. I told a bad joke, snowflakes in the class were mad and a talked back in defense. Okay, firstly, don't refer to your classmates as snowflakes. Secondly, whether the joke was about a student, please consider the fact that they have feelings too. Thirdly, your teacher said that you cussed her out and said something explicit towards her. You do not say things that affects their feelings, especially towards your teachers. So, 
Why does it matter that I cussed out the teacher and made some kids mad at me? The class was boring, had to spice it up. Right, for continuing your aggressive behavior, I no choice but to suspend you for two whole months, in school. A two-month in-school suspension. No, just give me a normal suspension, I want to be out of school. Suspended or not, you still need to have an education instead of not studying at all. Now please stay here while I call your dad. Hello, this is Dennis Winfield speaking. How may I assist you? Hello, this is Eline Mobay, the principal of Palms High School. I'm calling to inform you that your son is currently receiving an in-school suspension notice for two months for starting an argument with one of his classmates, being moderately aggressive towards me and his teacher and saying explicit things towards her as well as cussing. Is it possible that you can pick him up from school or are you busy at the moment? Well, currently I'm busy with my work at the moment, so you may send him to detention for the time being. Did my dad just say, send me to detention? Understandable, will do. Goodbye for now. Well, your dad has recommended that we send you to detention for the rest of the day due to the actions you've committed. Get your stuff and I'll email your teachers to send in any work that is online so that you'll have something to do in detention. Your in-school suspension is in effect tomorrow when you come to school in the morning, now please get going to the detention room. Why did you think it was a good idea to start an argument over a pity joke, not to mention cussing out your teacher and your classmates as well? Just to get a reaction. My anger was justified. No, you deliberately started an argument and things got a bit heated. Any further than that, then it would have been a class argument with the entire class. And also, you don't ever cuss out your peers, especially your teachers. Bah whatever. At least I don't have to see those stupid bitches for the time period. Don't make me add another month of your grounding time, because you're already grounded for the two months you have your in-school suspension notice. And I'll be taking away your electronics for the time being as an additional punishment you hear me?